Hi, this is Chef William Poole with Wen Chocolates in Denver, Colorado, and we're going to make an exciting chocolate mousse for you. First thing we're starting off with is egg yolks. Very, very nice. We're going to pull these right into here, into our mixer. Next, we've chosen to do a little bit of our own gingerbread spice formula, and I'm going to teach you guys just a half teaspoon, wing it, make it go. This is a beautiful blend of spices, including black pepper, ginger, nutmeg, allspice, and some cinnamon. It's our own special blend. So once this goes in, we're going to put in a sugar solution that we're burning on the stove here that is basically two-thirds cup of sugar with one third cup of water. You're going to want to boil this to approximately 238 degrees. Get this going on one of your higher speeds. Heat off, and then as quickly as possible in a thin stream, pour this into the egg yolk mixture. And what this is going to do is cook your egg yolks and pasteurize them again so that you've got a relatively safe product. And as soon as that's in, we're going to turn this up to the highest speed and just let this mix for a couple minutes until this is absolutely cool. Beautiful. Alcohol goes in and we're going to put in two tablespoons. And you'll want to measure this. If you put too much in, it can actually separate your mousse. So just slowly, slowly, slowly. Beautiful. One more. Keep this mousseing going all the time. And we're going to get this out of the way. And let's get the chocolate in there. All right, slowly get that in there. So the beater does the job for you. That's the nice part about it. That this beater's going to do all the work for you. Get that in there. Beautiful. All right, let's shut this bad boy off for a second. We're going to finish this by hand. Go ahead and take this down. Let's just get this guy out of the way for now. And back this up for you. And I'm just going to get this towards the camera a little bit so you can see what's going on with that. There's a lot of stuff on the side of the bowl, and you can actually just take one of your spatulas, just work that right in. Fold, fold, fold. And it's okay. You don't have to be so quick about this that you're, um, you're in risk of deflating anything. We're going to be adding some uh, whipped cream, and we're going to stabilize that with a little bit of gelatin so it sets up beautifully. You don't have to worry about this so much, but that is the uh, first part of the chocolate mousse. And let's get started with the other part. One of the things that we do in our kitchen is we actually incorporate sheet gelatin as opposed to powdered gelatin. It just seems to bloom a little bit easier. We've got some cold water and we've let this saturate. And uh, what we're learning is um, gelatin can actually hold up to five times its weight in water, which is great. We're going to take this out of the water, give it a little bit of a squeeze because you want some of that moisture in there. And let's just get some of that moisture. Beautiful. We're going to put this into the pan and then we're going to actually incorporate a little bit of heat. And we want to melt the gelatin. The thing about this is you want to melt this so that it will incorporate into the whipping cream a little bit easier. And uh, just a medium heat is fine. What's going to help is if you just put this together and pull it together and you'll see how easily that's melting. And as soon as it, it is melted and fully, uh, fully ready to go, we're just going to take it off the heat and set it aside and get the whipped cream started. Third stage of the chocolate mousse is we're going to take some heavy cream and we've got two cups. Pour that into a clean bowl with a balloon whisk attachment. Beautiful. And let's get this going. We're going to put this onto a medium speed just to incorporate some of the air into it first before we add the gelatin. You don't want to over whip your heavy cream. One of the things a lot of chefs do is they will over whip their cream to where it's uh, dry and trying to incorporate another product into it, it just won't work. You want something that's very luxurious on the mouth. Good mouthfeel. All right, melt the gelatin slowly. You don't want to have lumps at all, so just a nice thin stream. Get all of that in there. Because this has to go into the freezer, we're going to keep this a little bit looser and not incorporate too much air into this. All right, we've got the whipped cream and we've got the chocolate mousse. I'm going to keep this right here. And again, this didn't deflate at all in the couple minutes we've been working here. So what we're going to do is take about a third of the whipped cream, just pour that right in there. Beautiful. Stay 
away and just give this a couple good folds. And that's just going to lighten up the first approach to this chocolate mousse. All right, the rest of this can go in at this point. And beautiful, beautiful product here. All right, let's just get this out of the way. The rest of this gets folded in. And you don't want any streaks. You actually want this to be fully incorporated. What we can do now is take our mold, which is ready to go, right here. And this is pourable. This is the nice part about it, is you can actually just pour this right into your molds. And you don't have to use a flex pan. These are great. We use them in the kitchen all the time. There's tons of molds out there. What I would recommend, though, is you line your mold or line your pan with a little bit of parchment so it'll make it a lot easier to come out once you've got them frozen and they're set. So let's just fill these up as much as we can. Beautiful. And I'm just going to stop right there. Get this out of the way. You can give this a couple bangs just to get your air pockets out, which is great. If you notice that there's any unsightly lines, you can just take an offset spatula. Just clean those up. It'll just give you a finer line when you're finished. Beautiful. Just clean this right up. A couple more bangs. And then this is going to want to go into the freezer for about four hours. And we're finished with that. We have just taken these out of the freezer and covered these with some chocolate sauce. So they sat in the freezer for about four hours. Uh, so they had, they've had time to firm up. We're going to finish this off today by a little bit of garnish. I've got some cocoa powder. We're just gonna cover half of this to give it a little bit of attitude. And I've got some chocolate leaves. There are numerous websites that you can go to that have different embellishments from uh, chocolate covered espresso beans, different pan fruits and candies, uh, Italian confetti, whatever you like. We've chosen chocolate leaves today, and I'm just going to place one here and one here, and that's as easy as it can be.